Good morning, church. Welcome to Church Online. I invite you to worship with us this morning. Yet another week of you tuning in to our church at home experience. We hope that you have come with open hearts to accept Jesus today and to realize how much he, his love truly reigns over our life. So I just encourage you to stand up wherever you are and continue worshiping with us. But welcome to Connect Church.
as fears begin to change Speak now, speak now We lift up the holy road You swing open heaven's doors Rushing like a mighty storm Thank you for worshiping with us this morning. Grab a coffee, get your Bible, settle in as we hear the word from our Pastor Pedro. Just in four days, we'll be ending 2020. Wow, can you imagine that we are just a few days away from the turning from 2020 to 2021? And uh, last January 1st, now, no one would uh, predict what 2020 would uh, unfold for all of us. It's been a year like none of us 
ever lived before. And this pandemic changed you know, the way we do lives in so many different areas, so many uh, changes. Uncertainty and fear uh, has been a major thing in so many lives. Uh, people lost their jobs, and uh, as a consequence of that, some people, they lost their houses and their material possessions. Businesses, they closed for good because they couldn't operate regularly or because they were forced to shut down. Well, when we look back to what March, last March was, and when we look around right now at the end of the year, in so many areas, what we see is loss, destruction, lack of hope and peace in so many people's lives. People had developed physical and mental health problems. The economy recessed. Some places are in a total chaos. Today, as we approach the, you know, the end of the year, being the last Sunday of 2020, um, I don't want to preach at you. Uh, rather, I would like uh, to invite you to see what the Word of God says in all of these that we are living and uh, looking forward to the new year that we are about to start. So, if you will, please pick up your Bible, you know, your paper version or your digital version on your phone or tablet or your laptop or PC, and let's read from the prophet Joel. Prophet Joel chapter 2 and verse 25, and I'm going to read from the New King James Version. Joel 2.25, it says, So I will restore to you the ears that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the shoeing locust, my great army which I sent among you. So I will restore to you, says the Lord. Renewal. Uh, restoration comes only from God. Revival, renewal, brings about restoration to what was lost. Revival, renewal, brings about reversal. God, he reverses sicknesses and disease. Renewal reverses economic decay and destruction. Why? Because God restores, and that's your promise, I will restore to you. According to the uh, Strong's uh, Concordance, the Hebrew word for restore is the word, <coughs> sorry, shalom. As this, and that word shalom has the same roots as the word shalom. Uh, but shalom means, and I went to that stronger, uh, strong concordance and I, I read, it means to make amends, to make an end, to finish, uh, to give again, to make good, to pay or to repay, to make again, to be at peace, to perform, to make prosperous, recompense, to make restitution, to reward. That's the meaning of the word shalom, you know, in Hebrew. Surely God brings an end to the things that were out of order. For he is the Lord of recompense. The Lord restores, my friends. The Lord repays. The Lord rewards. The Lord brings peace. Because he is the Prince of Peace. Surrender yourself to him. For the Lord will make you whole. You know, it doesn't matter what your situation looks like right now. Okay? He is with you and God promised that He will restore to you what the enemy had been taking away from you. So throughout the new year, 2021, God, He will finish what He has started on you. He will restore what the enemy has stolen. The times of decay and delay and destruction, God is faithful, faithful to restore what the grasshopper, the pandemic, the unemployment, the disease and sicknesses has stolen from you and from your family members. God is in control and it causes the enemy to repay what was devoured, devoured by the enemy. In Malachi chapter 3 and verse 11, the word says, And I will rebuke the devourer, Satan. For your sakes, 
so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground, not shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field, says the Lord of hosts that's a promise from god to you to me to ourselves my friends the lord rebukes the devourer which is satan no, no matter what the enemy has held up uh, has held up during this last year against you the lord can make you whole the lord will restore the lord will give back to you the lord reverses economic decay you know, yes, we look around and the economy is not doing good. There is lots of unemployment. But God will make a way. Even in the midst of the desert, of the wilderness, God will make a highway for you. God will bring rivers to flow into your life with lots of blessings. The Lord reverses and the Lord restores the ears of emotional destruction and this, this, uh, discouragement that you have faced uh, during the last uh, few uh, months he is the lord overall god is still on his throne lord the the lord god is the king of kings joel like we read at the beginning joel 2 25 declares i will restore to you the years or the months or the weeks you know god can reverse god can revive god as, can accelerate and restore the resources the opportunities and the time that enemy has stolen because he is god and he holds the power and authority in his hands blessed be his name if you are a business owner Trust in God because God, he will restore your income. God will restore your business. He will bring back to you the customers and the businesses the enemy tried to get away from you. I have been feeling that in my own life, in my own, you know, uh, uh, private business. God has been bragged. Been, been, God has been brought back to me what the enemy tried to took away. If you lost your job, because of the pandemic, God will bring you uh, the same or even a better position job, you know, and with a better pay. God restores, God reverses, God repays, God rewards. God will restore your health and your wealth. You know, it doesn't matter what you have been going through. Probably you got, you know, a, a, a positive with COVID like I did. But God, he brought back my health. Now I can feel God's strength, God energy again in my body. If you, if you, you know, have been having financial problems because of this pandemic, because you lost your job, God will bring wealth uh, to you, my friends. Among the many miracles that Jesus performed uh, during his time here on earth, I would like to share with you uh, today one of those miracles. It's about a man with a withered hand, a crippled hand. In Luke chapter 6, uh, uh, we can read that. And it says on verse 10, And when he had looked around them all, he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. And uh, he did so. And his hand was restored as whole as the other. As the spectators watch Jesus, uh, like we read in Luke uh, six ten, Jesus spoke to the man with that crippled, that withered hand, and he commanded him to stretch forth your hand. This man's hand was withered, shrunken, uh, crippled. His hand was inoperative. You know, he couldn't do anything with his hand because he was crippled. In fact, this man was embarrassed uh, by the condition of his hand and he tried to keep it hidden, you know, so no one would see. Let me ask you today, my friends, what are you embarrassed out about? What are you trying to keep hidden? Jesus Christ commanded that man to expose was, uh, what was withered. Jesus could have just easily spoke to his hand and commanded to be made whole. Instead, Jesus did something different. Jesus told this man to stretch forward your hand. In other words, Jesus was saying to that man, expose what you are hiding and surrender to me, surrender to God. Give God what is shrunken, what is, you know, withered in your life. It doesn't matter what, in which areas of your life.
Maybe it's your business you know, it, that it's withered because of the pandemic effects. Uh, maybe it's your family. Maybe it's your marriage. Maybe it's your faith that it's withering. You know, whatever that withered thing is, give it to God. Stretch forth your hand. You know, stretch forth your hand and let God make you whole. God revives the wither. God reverses. God restores. You know, restoration is in His hands. Reversal is under His authority. Surrender to Him. And don't worry uh, you know, about the spectac spectators around you. They are looking to see what's going to happen. Don't worry about the ones who are uh, star uh, uh, staring at your withered hand. No, focus on the one who can make you whole. Stretch forth your hand and receive the blessing that God wants to bring into your life, into your business, into your family, into your ministry. And talking about the new year, 2021, I believe from the bottom of my heart that God is about to do something new, something great. You know, uh, um, more than we can think about it or ask about it or uh, expect. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 19, the Word of God says, See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. God is about to do something new. Can't you perceive it? Can't you feel it in your heart, in your spirit? This new year, my friends, let God do a new thing in your life. In the middle of decay, delay, and destruction, let God do a new thing. Let God do a new and creative thing within your heart. Let God do a new and creative thing within your home. Let God do a new and creative thing in your business. Let God do a new and creative thing within your family. Let God do a new and creative thing in our midst as Connect Church family. We need His help. We need His presence to come and restore and reverse what an enemy had been trying to do during the last nine months, you know, being away from each other, apart from each other for so long, trying again to meet again in person, and then we needed to shut down again. The enemy had been trying, but he is already defeated. So we are the victors. And in 2021, we're going to show him who, are, who the victors are. So as a as Connect Church family, let God do a new and creative thing in our midst. If you, like, you feel, if you feel like you are in the midst of a wilderness or a wasteland, let God breathe you know, upon you, upon your circumstances, is bread of life. Isaiah 43, 19, it says, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. It means there is no impossibles for God. Probably you look around, you look to your situation, you say, and you say, and you think, this is impossible. What, what good can come out of this? The Bible tells that all things work together for gold of those, the good of those that have been called by his name. God can get all the negative, apparently negative circumstances and turn them around for good. Let God do a new thing in your life. Let God create a new and innovative, you know, way in the midst of your circumstance, even when it seems like uh, all around you, it's just loss and, and negative things. Choose to have faith in God. Having faith in God is something that you can decide to or not to have. So choose to have faith in God. Don't let your hope die in the midst of the wilderness. Let God revive your heart. Let God heal your hope. Let God transform you. Let God revive you, restore you. Let God make you whole again. Stretch forward your hand to Him. Don't hide it anymore. Just expose to Him and believe Him. Our God, He creates rivers in the desert. He transforms dry places into a place of habitation, peace, hope, 
and refuge. That's what our God does. He does a creative thing. Let God do a new thing within every area of your heart and your li- of your life, your business, your family. Um, I'm, I'm going to approach to the end and let me read for you again. Uh, I, uh, let me read for you 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9. And First uh, Corinthians chapter two and verse nine declares, as it is written, "What no eye has seen, or what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the three that's the, those are the things that God prepared for those who uh, love Him. What no eye has seen, what no ear <coughs> has heard." And what no human mind <coughs> has conceived, the things that God has prepared for those who love Him. God creates new things. Even in the midst of chaos, don't let the environment around you, you know, dictate your success. Our God creates pathways, highways, rivers. Even in the midst of confusion and pandemic, God can create a new thing. According to 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 14 and verse 33, our God is not the author of confusion because it says, For God is not a God of disorder, but a God of peace. When God speaks, clarity comes forward. When God speaks, revival and renewal and restoration breaks out in our lives because He is the answer. He is the solution. And I finish with Psalm 24 and verse 1. It says, The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. The earth is his, belongs to him. Time belongs to him. Restoration belongs to him. Just trust him. Just trust God. Trust on his timing, you know. His timing, it's always perfect. God never, never comes late. God never comes, you know, ahead of time. He always comes on the right time. He always do things in a perfect way. Because His way, it's perfect. And always on time. Just believe Him. Just trust Him. Trust Him for 2021. Trust Him that God, He will show in your life. He will do a new thing in your life. He will restore. He will reverse the situation, but you need to trust Him. Just believe that God is at work in your behalf. Believe that 2021 will be a year of restoration, a year where God will be reversing things around you. It will be a revival year in your life, in my life, in our life as Connect Church family. Let God make the way. Even if you can't see Away yet, believe that God's at work. Trust Him and just follow the lead of the Holy Spirit in the different areas of your life. Probably you are watching and you say, but I I can't believe in that. I'm not still there. Well, first of all, you need to surrender yourself to God completely. Don't hide anymore. Don't hide your, you know, crippled hand. Just stretch forward. You know, by faith, believe Him. Surrender yourself to Him. If you want to do it, you can do it right now. Towards the end of the year, it's still, there is still time. There is still time for you to start a new year with, you know, new hope. You know, believing in God. That God is making a way in the midst of the desert. He's bringing forward, uh, you know, rivers in the midst of the wilderness for you. That God will transform your situation. But you need to surrender to Him. If you want, just do it right now. I can help you with a simple prayer. Say something like this. Father God, I thank you for your love. I thank you because you are revealing yourself to me today. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I acknowledge that I've been sinning. And today, I ask for forgiveness of my sins. I confess with my mouth my sins. I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth. Jesus, forgive me. I accept your forgiveness and your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, if you did it from the bottom of your heart, believe me, you are already forgiven. Already forgiven. You are a child of God. Blessings are on your way. Just believe in God. Trust in God. 
that God will reverse, will restore, will renew your life in 2021. Trust Him and believe that something new is about to happen in your life.
Before we leave you, we would like to encourage you to give. If you feel compelled to do so, there are three ways that you can. Online at www.connectedmonton.ca slash give, or via e-transfer to info at connectedmonton.ca, and lastly, by mail to P.O. Box 31024, Nemeo Center, Edmonton, Alberta, T5Z 3P3. Definitely. 2020 had been uh, a different year, but we thank God for every blessing that we received. We bless God for all the promises that in Him they have the yes and amen. And we believe that the plans that God has for us for 2021, you know, are higher and better than everything we can ask or think about it. We can imagine because it. His plans, they are always good and perfect. And um, God says, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to bless you. Not to arm you, but to bless you, to give you hope and the future. That's what God had already prepared for us. For us, Connect Church family, have been, you know, a very strange year. Most of the year, we could meet together. We have been online. Right now, we are still online, and probably for the next couple of weeks, we're going to keep going just online, no in-person services, because we want to cooperate with our health authorities. Um, so next Sunday, the next year, 2021, uh, January the 3rd, will be uh, here again online at 10 a.m. for another online service. And then we will let you know when we go in-person services again. Uh, but for now, we'll keep online. So next Sunday, which is going to be on the next year, January 3rd at 10 a.m., will be here online. So we thank you for being faithful to attend our online services. Please share it with your family members, with your friends, you know, in your timeline, on the different platforms that you use. We want to spread the news. And this year, 2021, we want to spread the good news and the message of hope of Jesus Christ. So please... Uh, do your best to cooperate so we can cooperate together to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay, invite friends, you know, you can invite for a, a watch party and watch together on the different platforms that we use like Facebook or YouTube. You can do it online directly or you can do it, you know, on demand later on during the week. I would like... 
before I let you go, I would like to express with a big word of thank you and appreciation all of our Connect Church volunteers. Everything that you have been doing for this family. And there is this particular group of people that throughout these months of pandemic and restrictions have been working so faithful and so hard behind the scenes. We thank you all. May God reward you all. Because, you know, alone by myself i couldn't do it but there is you know there is a big army of people working together behind the scenes and we thank you all the ones that are behind the cameras and the sound and the lights and preparing the music every every week doing the setup of the stage so many things the ones that are you know giving giving follow up to the people that get in touch with us and by the way if you are watching for the first time and you made a decision for jesus today you know on the comment section on youtube or on, on the facebook just you know, use the emoji uh, ends up and you know use that emoji it's a sign for us that you receive jesus today or that you want more of jesus in your life we'll be in touch with you myself or some member of our uh, team will be in touch with you because we want to walk with you during 2021 and help you to get strong in the knowledge and in your relationship with jesus christ so you know just Click that emoji or send us an email to info at connectedmonton.ca. Info at connectedmonton.ca saying that you accepted Jesus or that you want more help. You, you, you want some help for the next steps in your journey. We will be there for you. So meanwhile, we are going tonight, uh, going today, uh, finishing this service. But next Sunday, we'll be here at 10 a.m. Meanwhile. From the bottom of my heart, on behalf of myself, my family, and all Connect Church family, to you that are attending this service, we wish you a happy new year. A, 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 a year of restoration, renewal, and reverse from God. A revival year. And to all Connect family, the same. I wish you, as your uh, spiritual leader, I wish you a year full of blessings from above. Let's keep together. Do our best in the kingdom of God. May God bless you all and see you next year, which is next week. Bye now and God bless you. Happy New Year.